Caring for a loved one at home can be challenging. Over 66 million people in the U.S. are caring for a loved one. Maybe it's an aging parent, a child with special needs, a wounded soldier, or a young couple with a recent diagnosis. Fortunately, there is help. And joining me now is John Shaw from Caregiver Action Network and Robin Santos from the Clorox Company. I want to thank you so much for both being here in the studio today. Thank Glad you. to be here. I was really surprised by that 66 million number. Yes, that's right. There are tens of millions of family caregivers across the country. Two out of every five adult Americans now. Most care happens in the home. That's a good thing because people are happier and healthier in their own home. They want to age in place. And as long as they're safe and healthy at home, that actually reduces health care costs too. But if you're the caregiver helping them take care of themselves, that can be a huge challenge and it can really take its toll. Who usually takes on that role of caregiver? What we've found is the face of caregiving is changing daily. Ultimately, we've always thought it was the woman in the home that would take on caregiving responsibilities. However, when Clorox entered the space, we wanted to actually talk to current caregivers. So we pulled about a thousand caregivers within a survey. We did find it is still 65% female. There's so many physical aspects to caregiving in terms of moving from bed to bath, down the hallway, etc. So men are definitely taking on a role, as are adult children in the houses, people that are returned from college that are helping taking care of a grandparent or another disabled sibling. John, what kinds of things are these folks facing as caregivers? Well, I think one of the things we hear most about is isolation, this mm. feeling that you're doing it all by yourself. You're out there alone. There's also a big financial burden. There are a lot of out-of-pocket caregiving costs. And some families even have to make uh, alterations in their home for their loved ones for safety, security, cleanliness reasons. So if you're visiting your elderly loved ones at Thanksgiving or over the holidays, you know, check those throw rugs. Mm -hmm. Maybe they should be removed to prevent falls. See if the bills are piling up and not getting paid. We have a lot of resources to help family caregivers. Those of us at the Caregiver Action Network can. So people should check out our website, caregiveraction.org. Wonderful. And Robin, tell me about Clorox and CAN and what you guys do together, your partnership. Well, when we were launching the Clorox Care Concept line, which is a line of products to help with home health care, at that point we realized there's not a lot of resources out there. Mm -hmm. So we decided to launch the whencarecomeshome.com website. At that point we realized we wanted a partner like CAN, who's an advocate in the space for caregiving and has so many of those resources that John was just mentioning in terms of the emotional aspects of caregiving as well as the functional ones of what to do day to day and A through Z caregiving. Caregivers really need to take time for themselves, don't they, John? Oh, it's absolutely important to take time for yourself. And remember, as a caregiver, to take care of yourself first. Hmm. And watch out for signs of depression. Caregivers are actually twice as likely to suffer depression as non-caregivers. And if you're a wife caring for your husband, you're five times more likely to suffer depression. Wow. So you really have to watch out for it, uh, get screened, talk to your doctor. Realize if you're feeling depressed, well, that's pretty common for those of us who are caregivers. But get some treatment and make sure that you're strong enough to care for your loved one. Important. And Robin, there is something rewarding, certainly, about being a caregiver as well. There really is. Among all of the caregivers that we met, one of the interesting things is they may not even self-identify as a caregiver. To them, they're taking care of a loved one. They're taking care of their parent, their child. And I think at that point, they realize this is so amazing and it's such an inspiration to me because I'm actually walking this walk with somebody that I love and somebody who gave to me throughout my life and now I get to give back. So that outweighs a lot of the challenges I think they're feeling day to day is the positive aspects. Oh, I'm sure it does. Just thanks for stopping by. Great information, really important information that you shared with us today. I appreciate it. Thank you for having Thank us. You. All right, and you want to learn more, I want you to log on to thebalancingact.com. We are also on Facebook and Twitter.